Hi guys, I am Isa. Today we're going to learn how to use Love 2D. So what is Love 2D? Well, it's a little library that allows you to make uh, games and stuff. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to, the first thing I have to do is to actually install Love. So right, Love2D.org is going to show you the website. Okay, just download the one that matches your system. Also, if you're using macOS, then I recommend that you install it using the package manager through pressing new install love. Alright. So let's uh, start making it. It has three functions or four functions, but we're gonna get into the fourth one later. Function love.load, which controls all the things that happens when, you know, the project loads. And function love.updates. And with Delta Tide here, which uh, is what happens when the game updates. Uh, and function love.draw is, you know, what the, what it draws the screen. Alright, so let's uh, draw simple shapes. Also, if you want to run the file, then you have to go to the folder and you just write love dot. Dot means going to run the current folder. Just gonna show the speed this be this blank screen. Let's draw something. So left dot graphics dot rectangle. After like the mode, it can either be fill or line. So X position, Y position, width and height. Dun dun dun. We have a square. Anyways, let's uh give it a colors. So if right left dots. Left dot graphics dot set color. Here we need to the red, the green, and the blue. Also like 50, 100, 200. Wait a minute, it's not working. Well, the reason why is because this, uh, the color in love uses, you know, decibels. You know, like uh, from 0 to 1. 0 represents 0, 1 represents 255. If you buy 255 each, you should get the whole one. But does that mean that we can just write the decimals directly? So here's going to be 0 0.2, here's going to be 0 0.4, here's going to be 1. Wait, I have the approximately the same color. Alright, so let's make this rectangle move. In the function of dot load, I'm going to create a variable called x, which is going to be equal to 50. Oh cool, x equals 50. Oh no, I'm not gonna have cool. So x equals 50. So the x position is gonna draw the rectangle is gonna be this x variable. So left our updates. I'm going to say x plus equals 5. Wait, whoops. I mean x equals x plus 5. Now it's moving. But uh, well, something something that you should do is add delta time. So delta time it's gonna make sure it's gonna make sure that it always moves at constant speed, no matter the speed of your computer, whether it's a potato or good computer. It's always going to run at the same speed. So like if it starts lagging, it's going to you know like return back to its uh, normal position. Alright, so now we have this figured out. Let's also try to make a class, I mean, a, a table for it. So, we're gonna name it player because, well, that's what everything's called. Alright, the x equals to 50. y equals to 50. Uh, I'm not gonna write the width and height because, no. I'm just gonna stick with x and y. So, here we're going to write player.x, and here player.y. So, uh, yeah. So, let me just change this to player.x equals to player.x plus 500 multiplied by the delta time. So, now it's just the same thing. Anyways, let's give the player a scrumbly image. 
Look at the same up dots. Graphics dot draw. So so we need this is the player's image. So in the player class, I mean table, the right square G is equal to well dot image. Look at graphics dot new image. So I'm going to write through this. Player.png because I have this player.png, which is a uh, pretty badly drawn, but whatever. So let's talk graphics dot draw img. The x is y. This player dot x and player dot y. A website is supposed to be player dot img. So now uh, it works perfectly. Let's also just change the background color or something. We're gonna say let's talk graphics dot set background color. RGBA, we're gonna do it the same way. So, you know, I'm just gonna copy and paste the colors from here because, well, those colors were, were good enough. Now, let's get rid of these. And now we have a blue background in the red top. Alright, so let's add keyboard input. If love dot keyboard dot is down, right key, so if the right arrow key is down. Then it's going to do this real weird thing. I'm going to give the player a variable called speed, which is equal to 500. Mm -hmm. So instead of writing 500, we're going to write player.speed. Alright, I'm going to make another if statement. I'm going to make another if statement. Another one, another one, so I'll be able to move in all four directions. If the left key is down, if the up key is down, and also if the down key is down. So here the product will be put x minus this. Here the put it y, put it y. Here the put it y, put it y minus put it out speed. So that was what our file. Um, it's the right to the left are working, but the up and down zero swapped. Well, that's because uh, up is minus, down is plus. Don't ask why, that's just how it is. Right, so now we can move our player uh, easily. Anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. So, bye.